Hi, as nursing educators, we all want to create fair, effective test questions that truly measure student knowledge. Now, item discrimination is one of the tools you can use to get there. Give me three minutes of your time and I'll show you how to do this. So think about it this way. If it's a good test question, it should be answered correctly by students who perform well overall on the exam. Now, this question should also be missed by students who struggle with the exam. That's all item discrimination measures. The values range from negative one to positive one, just like a correlation coefficient, because that's exactly what it is. Now, item discrimination is also known as point by serial correlation. This shows us how well each of your questions distinguishes between the students who understand the material and those who don't. Think of it as your student's ability or your question's ability to sort students accurately. Now, when interpreting the numbers, let's look at what they mean. If the score is above 0.40, these are your star performers. These questions excellently separate knowledgeable students from those who are still learning. 0.3 to 0.39 is good discrimination. These questions are solid contributors to your assessment. 0.20 to 0.29, nah, that's fair discrimination. These questions are working, but they likely need some fine tuning from you. Now, if it's below 0.19, this is poor discrimination. You're gonna have to do some work on these. These questions don't effectively distinguish between different knowledge levels. They might be too easy, too difficult, or the wording might be confusing. Now, negative values, that's a red flag. When a question has a negative discrimination value, it means that your students who did well on the test or the rest of the exam got this question wrong, while the lower performing students got it right. So this often indicates you've got a problem with maybe the question wording, the content of the question, or it might have been keyed wrong. So what do you do with all this information? Well, when you review your exam statistics, focus first on the questions with negative values. We're going to start from the bottom up. These are the ones that likely need immediate revision or removal. Next, you're gonna move on to the questions that are below 0.20. Those are the ones you should look at next, and you should ask yourself these three questions. Is the question unclear? Is it testing something different than I intended? Or is it too easy or too difficult? And you'll make the changes based on your answers to those questions. Now for questions with good discrimination, that's above 0.30, Consider adding similar questions to your item bank for future exams. These are good questions. Remember, item discrimination is just one tool in your assessment toolkit. Use it alongside other metrics like difficulty level and distractor analysis for the most complete picture. You've got this. Small, consistent improvements to your test questions will make a big difference for both you and your students.